Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, we have a terror attack that we need to deal with. Council report in 13 days. Everything else is going fairly smooth, smoothly. Uh, let's send in the Sky Ranger, see if we can uh, deal with them. Support. Okay, two supports. Heavy, heavy. Seamus and Durand, I've been using them quite a bit. Uh, they do have the Psy abilities, which is coming in really handy. Uh, Kitty and Scotch with the uh, the health packs. Uh, Sanchez with the heavy plasma. These guys have got light plasmas. Is this, a, this one looks different. What is what is she using? She's got the light plasma. Looks different to this one. Oh, that's the regular plasma, and then we've got the heavy plasma. Okay, so light, regular, and heavy. I think the support can use the light. Colonel, there's the assault. He might be able to use heavy as well, I'm not sure. Or the regular plasma I think he can use. This gives plus 10 aim, still does decent damage. Uh, so that's fine. Twenty-four health. May not need the vest. Um, she definitely needs the vest. She's only got uh, twelve health. No, she needs Titan armor. That's, that's the problem. How much does Titan armor cost to build? I'm gonna build another two. Uh, we're going to give her Titan Armor. Health bonus 10. Okay, so 6 plus 12, 18 now. Okay, that's better. Does anyone else not have Titan Armor? It looks like they've all got Titan Armor, so uh, let's head into this mission. putting down in Mexico for this mission. A number of disturbing reports indicate the aliens are openly attacking civilian targets within a major city. I think once I get um, satellite coverage over the entire Earth, these uh, missions will no longer be available. The, um, uh, the terror missions will stop. I think that's how that works. Anyway, for now we're going to uh, head in here, see if we can rescue as many civilians as possible. Central, this is Big uh, Sky. Let's take a look. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Going in for the kill. Run and gun. Got it. There's one. Enemy inside. Uh oh. All right. Yeah, it's hard to hit these flying, uh, flying aliens. Shredder rocket does four damage. That's not going to work. <laughs> I wish we could get a little bit more range on the rocket. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, can I get those two? No, I'm going to hit the car as well. If I could just... Oh, no, I'm going to hit the civilian as well. Okay. That's, a <laughs> that's quite, a, quite a shot there. All right, let's move up. Sanchez. Such a... 25% is terrible. Let's try to get rid of that cover. Okay. I 
think Zed is still healing. Going in for the kill. Um, the sniper would be uh, really good right Roger now. That. Try to get lucky with a double shot. No, yes. Nice. One down. Why is this red? Ah, uh, because I'm getting flanked. Hmm. Send Kitty to there. 50-50. Headed there now. Scott Jones, let's put him on Overwatch. This is such a large uh, explosion. <laughs> shot is blocked. No, I can't can't get a shot off there. I might actually just dash. So I can't give her any cover without dashing. This stuff is heavy, you know. Elite mutons. That is scary. No. No. There you go the civilians. I mean, it keeps my team alive. Oh no! I didn't realize I was going to blow up. Alright, it's another one down. Ooh. Three. Who's this guy? Oh, close combat and uh, regular mutons. Very scary. Oh, I wish I had my sniper. Mine fray, 87%. Let's do it. Your nightmare is just starting. Good to go. Eighty percent. Let's see if we can finish him off. Then deal with the mutons. They're not going to reach us in one turn. 
Let's go with uh, Overwatch. Alien over here. Come on. Oh, eight damage is good. Now they've moved away from each other, so the rocket's not going to be very. Oh my god, the rocket's not going to be very good. How much movement do they have? God, it's so fast. What? And he gets an attack? That's ridiculous. How can he move that far and attack? Yeah, that is ridiculous. How can he move that far and attack? There's another two of them out there as well. This is just one of them. Move. Where are the other two? Moving. Let's get some cover. chance to hit there's a civilian over there as well I think we're just gonna go for uh, overwatch Mind fray 100%. Let's do it. I have a special nightmare just for you. I'm all right. Ah, they are killing off all of the uh, civilians, uh, which is not making things easy. Can't hide behind the pole for for cover. That's not going to work. Okay, kitty. What's going on here? Still got the uh, the effects from the heavy floaters, but they are deceased. I just can't see them for some reason. Okay. Can't get the grenade out there, can I? Um, no, I can. That's five damage. Wait, I think there's a... 
Nope, they've been killed. Okay. Should work. Five damage. Right, let's finish it off. This is uh, just a complete mess. Let's bring Thomas up a little bit. He needs some healing. 90% chance. Let's do that first. Nice. Oof. Oh, there's another one there. The two groups of floaters. Just destroyed everything here. This is crazy. Alright, let's bring her up to here. Stepping she can off. run and gun. Fifty-nine percent chance, let's take this shot. Nice. Alright, Sanchez can't do much here. Let's try to get him into the fight for next turn. Moving to firing position. Moving to designated position. Okay, half cover there. 5% chance to hit. This could finish it off if we get lucky. Nice. Got him. Oh, my goodness. Alright, Gerard. Next turn, should we be able to use her ability? This stuff is heavy, you know. Send her out. We've got to find the, um, the two mutons. I guess they're over there. Killing off all of the uh, civilians. Need to get some healing here as well. Scotch Jones. Will do. Let's just heal up yourself. There we go. Civilian still alive. We did hear some screams from over there. Yeah. So I think we should go into Overwatch. Got it. Move up here a little bit. See anything, Seamus? Where are they? They do have ridiculous movement. Oh no, that's the floater. Okay. Let's do this. And rescue uh, another s civilian. I said rescue the civilian. Rescue the. Ci Never mind. Um. Guess there's a wall uh, in the way. Kitty up to here. We'll leave them in Overwatch. Kind of want to stay up here for the moment. See if we see anything down the alley to the left. Behind me now. Where the 
heck are they? might lose this mission. Heading out. There's no one here. We heard someone dying here. You must have killed them and, and run around this way. Aye aye, Commander. Get to the ship and keep your head down. Uh, I'm not going to waste a turn rescuing this civilian. Because he can't see me around this, this wall. When do you I see get me to here? An alien? Rescue the... Rescue this stupid guy, honestly. What does he need? So, someone to... You're safe now. Get going! Someone to carry him to safety. Ridiculous. Let's see if we see anything over this side. You're clear. Go. It's only four remaining. They've really been focused on taking out the civilians. Um. All right. Maybe there's someone in this room. There must be someone in here. Don't want to open the door yet. Let's just go to Overwatch. Sanchez. Send him out there as well. Scott Jones. There's only three civilians left. One. Not sure where the rest are. Yes, Commander. All right, you just wait there and go into Overwatch. Is that it? My turn. Uh oh, our floaters. I can see one of those things. Okay, so I'll do it this way. I thought it was going to get stuck up there for a second. Oh, it did five damage at least. Um, what scares me is that there's two more mutons. Oh, I'm taking out all the civilians here, so I'm free to uh, take him out with a rocket. No sabrán ni qué les alcanzó. That uh, missed. That actually missed, but I still did six damage to the, the closest one. Okay. You're clear. Move out. Okay. Eight saved, eight lost. I don't want to send him out here in case there's a muton sitting around here. Yes, Let's bring him back this way. Scotch Jones. Uh, the grenade might have the range to take out both of them. Would it hit both of them? Just, it does. Alright, so that's 10 damage. It's going to keep both of them alive, though, unfortunately. But... Oh, we do have another grenade. Getting okay, the that's fine. We can finish them off with the, uh, the grenades here. Okay. 
two down. Mission accomplished. Oh, okay, we did it. I th where did those uh, mu elite mutons go? I know I killed one of them, but I thought there were another two. Anyway, I'm not going to complain. Uh, killed 10 aliens, saved 10 of 18. Okay, it's just Sanchez who's wounded for two days. And it uh, gained a Psy rank. Um, panic. Yeah, you do need to be fairly close for inspiration. Let's, let's try the panic. See if I can get them to attack each other. Healer's Haven, okay. Um, I should hand out some of these uh, awards as well. Fragments meld. The XCOM squad deployed to Mexico has successfully uh, stopped the terror attack in Tijuana. Remember, we will be watching. Okay, so that reduces panic in Mexico by three. Egypt. It's a satellite. Satellite launched. China and Japan already have satellites. India give us future combat. Three available. Oh, I don't need to, de to decide where they go because uh, we've only got three spots left. Launch satellite. Uh, really okay. Down to the wire now. Future combat. All projects in the foundry and the officer training school cost 50% less. Nice. Uh, Argentina. Plus two scientists, plus two engineers per month. Satellite launched. We have ways autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. South Africa. Satellite launched. Monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. We've got full satellite coverage. I don't think we're going to get any more terror missions. We need to research the ethereal device. Um, what research are we doing? Oh, have I not been researching anything? Okay, these autopsies are instant. Let's do that. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. Although this robot is neither alive nor sentient, it is strangely self-aware of its surroundings. We're still uncovering the functional details for this species, but from what we've seen so far, this machine is a masterpiece of technology Based on our initial testing, we've discovered an extremely intricate program that's implanted in their macro processes. This combat control program, combined with the sector pods imposing 10 meter frame, makes for an extremely dangerous weapon. Powered by the same energy source that fuels the alien craft, these machines wield unparalleled destructive power. Perhaps the biggest mystery is the secret of how they're being controlled. Additional information regarding this specimen's tactical abilities may be available in the field if another of these machines is targeted. Okay. Um, advanced construction. Okay, heavy floater autopsy. A Mazar variation on a previously identified specimen. This is the heavy floater. As you can see, the aliens have made substantial improvements to the armor and weapon systems available, while removing some of its exposed vulnerabilities. An extremely dangerous combatant. Another variation on a previously identified specimen, this is the heavy floater. The cursory examination reveals substantial improvements to the armor and weapon systems available to the creature. Much of the exposed tissue, the floater's most obvious vulnerability, has either been shielded or removed entirely. With these modifications in mind, it would appear the aliens chose to move towards a greater reliance on mechanical and cybernetic upgrades rather than continue developing the specimen's organic form. However, we have still uncovered a number of redundant organic systems within the heavy floaters torso that were clearly duplicated to enhance its survivability. If we were to follow, if we were to follow a similar genetic modification path within our own soldiers, we may be able to prevent many of the life-threatening injuries that our troops face in combat. 
we may also be able to gain further insight into this creature's unique abilities in combat if another specimen is target targeted. Okay. Advanced repair. As our understanding of alien materials grows, we believe that we can develop processes that would reduce and repair. Okay, I don't use these ship units. Um, I think I used them in the first playthrough, which didn't end well, but uh, I think I prefer the mechs. Uh, actually, let's start a new research project. Skeleton suit has a grapple. Alloy cannon. Is that for the soldiers or for the... Uh, looks like it's for the soldiers. Alloy cannon. Hmm. Okay. Ghost armor is... If you want to be stealthy. So it's good for the, uh, the scout. Archangel armor... Oh, flight. Okay, nice. Guided fusion launcher. MP cannon. Uh, let's go with the priority for the moment, I the ethereal the device. There could be risks involved in studying this new alien device, but the enemy leaves us with no other choice. Okay, let's see what happens. Exalt Operation Propaganda. Hopefully we'll find out where the main Exalt base is and stop them doing this once and for all. Okay, so we need to send someone. It's going to take seven days. I don't want to send Morel. Thomas has already been on one of these missions. Seamus, no. Did I sent her on the last one? Owusu, she's got run and gun, lightning reflexes. I can I can give her a plasma pistol. That's definitely gonna help. And we're gonna give her a nanofiber vest. I'm starting to wonder if we'll really figure out what the reason for all this was. Is that not allowed? It doesn't change her HP at all. Let's give her a flashback. No, you know what? Let's give her a medkit. 8 health. That will hopefully keep her alive. Plasma pistols do 2 to 4 damage. Okay, we'll see how we go. I hope she's allowed to take that. Covert operative deployed to disrupt Exalt Cell in Egypt. Okay, that will take seven days. So we need to find out if the base is in Russia, France, or Germany. Hopefully we'll find out after this mission. For now, back to the uh, mission room. Ethereal device research complete. Having learned a great deal about the hyperwave beacon and its associated interdimensional signaling capabilities, we believe this newly recovered device confirms our suspicions about this technology and takes it a step further. The Psylink, as it is now being called, appears to provide a direct link to the psionic network used by the aliens for field communications. Although we are treading into an area of highly theoretical science, we believe there is a strong indication that the aliens function under a collective consciousness. A form of social organization akin to a hive mind as seen in various species of insects found on Earth. It wasn't until our first interaction with the ethereal species of alien that we were able to understand the scope of the psionic abilities we had previously been exposed to. Although we've only scratched the surface in terms of developing psionic abilities within a human subject, we've now theorized that it may be possible to join the alien's consciousness to tap into their hive mind by successfully activating this device. However, in order to ensure the safety of XCOM's headquarters, we'll need to construct a chamber that minimizes the potential risk to the rest of the facility during the activation process. As it so happens, two of our brightest young minds, a team of brothers, have already conceived of just such a facility appropriate to this task. If we manage to locate a soldier with an aptitude for psionics and find a means to develop these abilities further, I believe it will only be a matter of time before we succeed in activating the device and finding the source of this invasion. Okay. New facility available, the Gallop Chamber. Once we build this facility, a, psion a psionically powerful soldier will be able to access the ethereal's psychic net. Okay. Psy armor. 
This is what I need. Analysis of the Sionic Aliens implants indicates we, that we might be able to integrate these components into an armor kit. Although this would be of no use to a soldier without Sionic potential, it could greatly improve the abilities of those who do show promise in this area. Hmm. I guess I'll see what it does. Let's begin project on Psy armor. Scan for activity. We've reached a point in our research of the alien Sionic abilities and their associated cybernetic implants that we're confident enough to begin preliminary tests of this technology on human subjects. Although the system we've in mind will require the use of a lightweight armor suit with reduced defensive capabilities, this Psy armor should more than compensate by providing a significant boost to our soldiers' psionic abilities. It is our hope that bolstering these abilities within our soldiers will provide new insights as we seek to discover the source of the alien's collective consciousness. We still don't fully understand the link between the visible psionic abilities we've seen exhibited by the aliens and their use of psionics as a means of communication. I believe it's very likely we'll find a way to activate the ethereal device if we can successfully fabricate, fabricate this armor. Okay, so I need the armor to activate the ethereal device. And uh, we need to do it in the gallop chamber. Okay, let's build the archangel armor next. We need to start working on the housing for this device as soon as possible. Considering what we went through to get it, we should be making every effort to provide a secure location for its storage. Okay. Let's build a gallop chamber. What do I need? Five power, 200 credits. I'm sure we can do that. 200 credits. Oh, can I do that? Shall I sell off some of the alien alloys? Maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but I feel like we're close to the end of the game. Just leave me with seven, uh, with 100. Delirium. I'll hang on to 550. 180. Um, how much did I need for the gallop chamber? 200. Okay, ETA 14 days. Let's begin construction. Um, I am doing some research. Archangel Armor, Council Report, Gallop Chamber. Maybe next month. Okay, they're all gifted. Beautiful. Um, I do get to level them up as well. These three. Matthew Hawkins, the sniper. Psy abilities, mind fray. Beautiful. Um, headshot. It's good to have a second sniper, finally. Snapshot. Squad sight. Squad side is really nice. Let's do uh, continue with squad side. Plus ten aim, plus ten defense. I'm gonna go with gunslinger. I quite often use pistols for Overwatch with the uh, the snipers. Um, battle scanner, let's go with disabling shot, and that's it. Okay, need to get, get him some better weapons. Uh, then we have uh, Saeed, support. Okay, he gets the mind playability. Smoking grenade. Uh, I always take sprinter. And uh, always take field medic. Let's go with revive. 
Uh, finally, we've got Fatima, Tarek. Let's give her uh, Mind Fray. Run and gun. Spark defense. Lightning reflexes is just really handy. Let's go with rapid fire and that's it. If there are light plasma. Okay. So we've got quite a few with uh, Psy abilities now. Not the best, not the most experienced soldiers, but still will be very handy to have. Scanning. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the Hollow Globe. 